It's a fact of life for many public schools in America. Many teachers don't have the budgets they need to buy the school supplies they need. Well, back in 2000, one teacher at a high school in the Bronx set out to change that. He sketched out a website where teachers could post classroom project requests, and anyone with even just $5 could be a philanthropist. Three years later, Oprah Winfrey got wind of it and called it a revolutionary charity, DonorsChoose.org. Since their founding, almost a million and a half donors have channeled nearly a quarter of a billion dollars into classrooms in need and benefited more than 11 million students. So with 14 years of data about what teachers need most, DonorsChoose.org is curious about the insights they could uncover about America's education system. That's where the data scientists came in. So I'm here with Thomas Vo, one of the leading data scientists at DonorsChoose.org. So Thomas, tell us about your big data challenge and the insights that you were hoping to find. Yeah, yeah, so we have 14 years of data just sitting there and we want to make it open source so that everyone could do analysis on it. Uh, we ran into a roadblock real quick and that was that the data wasn't clean enough. So how'd you go about tackling the problem? We knew that this problem was way too big for a team of two to solve, so we immediately reached out to Datakind, and they generously offered their help and assembled a team of data scientists to help us out. And so what were you sort of hoping to get out of a project like this? We learned to answer big, broad questions such as, uh, is this city in California requesting more tablets than laptops? Or if a city in New York is requesting, what's their most popular book being requested? What kinds of insights are you finding from this, or is there anything that you're seeing from the data itself? We knew, uh, before uh, jumping into this task, that teachers are requesting a lot of essential items, like papers and pens. We wanted to actually use the data to show that, and while we're looking at it now, we actually can show that. So I know the project's still ongoing, but what's, uh, what's down the line? What, what's coming in the future for this? In my mind, this opens up a gold mine of, of analytic opportunities. From this data, we could use it to map supply gaps across the United States and show which cities are actually you know, requesting certain items that are essential versus enrichment. Nice. So you're actually hoping that with these trends that you see, you can actually affect America's spending on education. Yeah. So we just want to help policymakers make more informed educational budgetary decisions. And at the end of the day, we just want to make education funding smarter. So what does the future look like for DonorsChoose.org? We would hope for teachers to never again have to go onto our platform to request essential items like paper, pens, or pencils. We want to be the platform that they go to when they want to fund their dreams. DonorsChoose.org has an audacious goal to inspire one million people to give $100 million to classroom projects from 100% of the country's high poverty public schools all in one school year. With the help of insights gained from analytics, I'm betting they'll get there.